went a couple couple days of pretty heavy rain, that big storm system that moved all the way across the country and killed a whole bunch of people with tornadoes. We didn't have any tornadoes, but we had plenty of rain. And the creek is full up and running. It's been a long time since we've been down here. Uh, seeing people that I hadn't seen in quite a while. It's been a couple of months since I've been down here walking. So far, nothing to see in terms of critters, but we're going to walk. We're going to try and do a little farther this week than we did last week. That bird right up there. Little bitty bird is making a heck of a racket. Everything is wet down here. All wet on the sides, the path, the path is wet. As humid as can be, but sun looks like it might be going to come out. It's supposed to be a 30% chance of rain on and off today, but we're still going to walk. There's the curve. I believe as a hawk. It sure was screeching a while ago. Or I can't I lost him and zoomed out. There's two of them. One went that way and the other one's following. He's making a racket. A lot of water in the creek. I swear sometimes she just gets her nose on the ground and just stops. If I want to keep walking, I have to drag her with me. I don't know what that nose smells, but it's been this way. We walk 50 feet and then she stops like this. I can see her nose, it's like a vacuum cleaner sucking up all them smells. There we go. Oh, she's actually caught up to me. That's the first time so far on this walk. Those birds there, just those crows, have been staying right ahead of us. We'll get close to them enough, but that can't tell from this distance. I'm zoomed way in. Can't tell if it's an egret or a, an ibis, but it just came in over the trees and landed there. Now Ruby sees them and she's interested. First time she's been out front since we started this walk. Those crows have been, kind of been playing catch up to them. Uh, that's an ibis. I can get in here. Of course, as soon as I get, I don't know, I can't tell. Uh, yeah, that beak's curved, it's an ibis. Maybe there's more down here. I was within 20 feet of them and Ruby decided she wanted a closer look and they took off. I thought they were going to let us walk right by. They flew up. I know where they're at. They're, they're up in them trees right up in there. But I don't think I can zoom in close enough to actually see them sitting in the tree. Both crows and the ibis. It was an ibis. Took off up there. Hey, the sun's coming out. You can see how much water's draining out of all this land around this creek. Every one of these culverts has that much water pouring into it. That's why the creek's so high. Well, right down there is the one mile mark. I think today we're gonna finally get in two miles. That's the first time in months. And I'm pretty pleased. Here's how I spent five and a half hours with a surgeon dissecting my neck just three weeks ago. Been so long since we've been out walking. I can't remember if it's this pole or that one down there with the sign on it that's the halfway point. So we're going to go to the halfway point. There's somebody else down there on the other side of the creek. After those crows and that ibis. I'm hearing 
a strange bird. There you go. Now they won't make the sound. I can't, I don't, I don't recognize it. There it is. Oh well. I can definitely tell we haven't walked this far in quite a while. I'm going to be tired by the time we get back to Toby. So, I think I'm going to call this video a done deal unless I see something. Whatever it is, it's making, there's one over on my left and one back over on the right. So, I'm going to call this video a done deal unless I see a critter worthy of my attention on the way back. We got a, somebody walking over there. There was a lady back off over there with two dogs, both on the other side of the creek. Other than that, all we've seen is one runner, two bicyclists, and I recognize both bicyclists. We've seen them down here many, many times. So we're going to go down to the one mile point, which I think is that sign, and then turn around and go back. Y'all have a good day. Bye. Well, this is new on the way back. See if I can zoom in and find them. It's a couple of mallards. See if I can get closer. There's our hawk, a pair of hawks. We came back to the tree. I wonder if that's why the ducks are down here. I've seen over at the duck pond, I've seen a hawk with, with a dead duck having lunch. Now, two ducks or three? Two males and one female. Or is that just a rock? Two bachelors and a rock. No. Well, that's definitely, I don't know. Two male ducks, that's gotta be a female. Hard to tell, it really is. I did see some movement though. That's a female duck. And the two brothers. <laughs> well, I thought the turtles was all buried in mud for the winter. There's a whole bunch of them going up on that rock. That's a, a one, two, three, four. I guess it's warm enough out. No Wally the Gator. He probably only came up here during mating season. Okay, oh, there goes one of them. The one on the top splashed in. Now they'll all move up. Eventually they'll push the next one into the water. I've seen that happen. Okay, I really am gonna end the video here. We're almost back to, to the truck. This last half mile has been difficult. I had pain in my left hip and leg, but we kept pushing through it, and it's, it's like it uh, warmed up and almost quit hurting. So I think we're back at the two mile mark on our walks. This was successful today. All right, y'all have a good day again. Bye.